So we're about to let out Miss Luna. There's a couple things that we're going to go over. So we've got Mr. Sage out here over here. Uh, and he's got he's, uh, gloves on the floor. And we're going to let out, let out Miss Luna. So we're going to go over space and I'll leave it depending on what she does. Good girl. Good girl. So he, he just pulled those out. Do you want to take them out? I was going to see if she wants to do a, a, a leave it with the gloves but she's being so good so good so um <clears throat> she did not run over towards sage and did not go grab the gloves so um <clears throat> no need to dive in on anything i've actually got another object over here i've got my sword on the ground um just kind of kibble that's fine oh a cotton the cotton ball good girl see until i leave it but just found a little piece of cotton. Um, anyway, so uh, a, a space and a leave it. However, in this instance, it was not necessary. She's doing a great job on um, what's basically becoming a default behavior where she is uh, not popping up on the kids and um, going after stuff she's not supposed to go after. Um, but we've uh, had to tell her, you know, space and leave it a boatload. So even there, Luna, leave it. Um, Got some other dogs with some food dishes out and have to tell her leave it that's fine so space and leave it are um, definitely crucial in your arsenal um, but the more that you use it the less that um, it should be required as she understands so she didn't go after these which is very good she understands um, what's okay and what's not okay so it's really um, very very good i'm very very proud so we're going to get miss luna leashed up here then go over our um, loose leash walking so it's a little more cumbersome when we've got our, our phone when we're videoing and, and everything but let's uh, let's go over our loose leash walking good job so we didn't actually give her a clicker for that I love that that she just laid down give me a nice relaxed body behavior standing in front of her Luna, sit good Three. Um, Luna so, hanging out by my side here, that's great. I'll take it, I love it. Good girl, cutie. So I give her a click, Luna. Good girl, good girl. Um, Luna, good. So I just love that eye contact. Um, get this out of my way. She, <laughs> she actually, leave it. Luna. She loves this stick. Thing is, I don't mind her playing with the stick, but then she'll drag it onto the path, and, and then we'll, like, leave it. And it's in my way as we keep cruising. Um, so that's what I, I don't, I don't like. So, I, I, ideally, um, like to keep, uh, Luna. Luna. Good. Uh, less slack in the leash. And so I'll usually have my right hand kind of dangling on the leash so that I could control and make sure that it's not um, getting caught in her legs. So I kind of hold it like this. It's in my left hand and my right hand. She's out in front. Luna. So I'm going to turn around on her. I don't like that. Luna. I'm going to do some uh, crack walking. Luna. Where we just walk back and forth. So, immediately first thing on your walk, you could feel free to um, walk back and forth if she's having. We go sniff, sniff. Okay. If she's having any issues, um, Luna, I kind of like this. We're, we're not off to a great start right now. <laughs> Good girl. So she's doing, she's doing okay, but I'd like better. Um, Luna. Luna. So, we're just going to walk back and forth. She's feeling pretty excited this morning. Um, Luna. Luna. She's slack slacking behind there. Um, so I did pull her towards me a little bit. Um, I just want her to keep following with me. Um, I don't like to do that, but 
she's not going to follow after me, then that's not the end of the world as long as it's gentle. Good, Luna. Sniff it a little bit there. She might have to go potty. I'm going to give her a minute here, see so if she has to go potty. She's doing quite a bit of sniffing. A lot of times dogs have to, yep, make a little pee-pee. Okay, so that was me kind of being impatient. I'm sorry, sweetie. Um, where that will always cause issues um, if your dog's got to go potty. Oh, I'm sorry, you did good. You made some good eye contact. So as you've noticed here, I've really cut back on the clicking and treating. Luna. Um, Luna. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Luna. Good girl. Ah. Luna. Good. So she's got um, seen some sticks and stuff, but it's fine. She's going to keep cruising. I just cannot allow her. Luna. So basically, when I say her name, Luna, that's like her warning. Luna. And then she's got to keep on, keep on keeping on. Good girl. Um, because <clears throat> we're not just going to allow her to dictate the walk and, um, good girl, uh, you know, slack, slack behind there or, you know, sniff for an inordinate period of time. We do want her to keep up. So she's doing a, there we go. Much better job, sweetie. Good girl. And this is what we're looking for. Good job. So, I'm um, really cruising back and forth at the very beginning. She ever gets out ahead um, is kind of what she needs. She needs to know, okay, <clears throat> you know, Uncle Dan's going to take control of this walk if I'm getting out ahead. He's just going to change directions. So, I go back, forth, back, forth, and go from, you know, one crack to another crack. Here is another thing um, that I wanted to go over. So she still gets nervous when she sees people. There's some folks doing some construction um, up over there. And I actually want her to look in their direction. So they are like that way. So I'm gonna see if she's going to check in with them and get kind of nervous. So when she does, I'm gonna click and let her know that that's okay. It's a fine thing to look at. So see, there we go. There we go. She finally took notice. They're banging their hammers. So I want to click as soon as she looks over in that direction. And this is a, a way to good, let her know that that's okay. Um, nothing to be afraid of. So this is another thing that I wanted to go over. Um, when she sees a dog or a person that might make her nervous, um, do bring your clicker and um, click as soon as she good, looks at that thing. So we're going to move a little bit closer. She seems to not be too concerned. And I'm going to make this a bit more reinforcing so she was kind of excited about that stick and came back towards me good job so we're pretty close now let's see if she checks in nope she's focused in on me I'm digging around in my bag a little bit I'm gonna put my hand behind my back Girl, see, she's pretty, pretty geared up there. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, yes. Good girl. 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 So ideally, I would have um, stayed a little bit further back. I felt like we were at a pretty, pretty good distance to where, you know, she's a little bit on edge, but not too much. I didn't know um, they'd be coming towards us immediately in that moment. But anyway, just want her to be able to calm down and relax.